everybody, we are Roots and Whales and welcome to our next episode of our van build vlog. We are super excited to have you here as we are making progress to hopefully in the next two, three weeks be absolutely done with our van build. So it is super coming along here. As you can see, we've got our bed going behind me. We've got cupboards being painted. Everything is happening, a lot of bits and bobs and pieces as we work around uh, elements that we're waiting for in the mail. Um, the weather, it's been raining so much, which makes it really hard to paint uh, for lack of space. Uh, but we are slowly making progress, so thank you for tuning in again, and uh, let's go. One more week of Roots and Whales. So in regards to the vlog, you might actually not be seeing a lot of Sean this week. It might be mostly me. Uh, that is because if you remember last week, I was talking about all of the videos that we have to do that are quite on a tight deadline. Um, I do all the audio for it and he does the video and the audio section is done. It kind of comes before the audio, the video part. Um, and it's due this week. So Sean is just doing a lot of the video stuff, but my job is mostly done. So I'm trying to get the stuff that I can do done in the van here, which is the sanding and the painting. Um, so you might be stuck with mostly me this week. Sorry. Welcome to my vlog! Though it might look fairly sunny outside, it is incredibly deceiving because it was pouring rain not two moments ago. As you can tell, the yard is quite gleaming and wet and there's puddles everywhere, which makes us not really be able to paint on our station because the bottoms, which are already painted, would get all wet. So here we are back inside the van painting, you know, painting as we can. These are three pieces that already have one coat. There's 10 in total, so I'm going to try and spread everything out around the van and paint indoors while we can. Oh, there's little ants in here. Hello, little ants. Get out. Get out. Try to get them out. Oh my God. They're gone. It has been about an hour and a half, almost two hours since you saw me last. Uh, I have managed to give a coat to every single overhead cupboard door, except for the bulkhead one, but all the side ones. And I also painted, doo -doo -doo, I never know how to use this. Sorry, it's so dark, the lights aren't on and it's pouring rain so the door's not open. I painted the bottom section of this other side, so we're making progress. I'm gonna let everything dry now, probably take a little break, go see how Sean's doing with the editing, and go from there. Hi guys, it is day two of working on the van this week. Uh, like I said before, we're working on a huge editing project, so we haven't been able to spend as much time outside, but I'm out here again, it is not raining, so I'm gonna try and do a little bit more painting, though now the painting seems to be happening mostly inside the van because our working station is either wet from when it rained previously or we think it's gonna rain and now we're just, I just seem to be working in the van. I have kind of gotten used to the rain and adapted and now it just seems to be easier to stick here. Um, I don't have much to tell you because what I'm doing today is pretty much the exact same thing that I did a couple days ago, which is what you just, just saw more painting. I'm giving all of the cupboard doors a second coat. Uh, I will repaint the little section that I painted of the left side of the van overhead cupboards and maybe paint the overhead cupboards themselves in the hopes that when Sean is able to come back and work that he can just hang the doors up, put them on the cupboards so that they're not in the way anymore. So let's do more painting. So this is how I left things the other day. Um, so everything is nice and dry. As you can see, I've managed to just put the cupboards a little bit everywhere in the van. Everything's gonna get a second coat. I think these two are actually done already. These have had a second coat. This one here. I haven't done this one yet because I still have to sand it down, so that is to be done. This side is completely finished. This side is kind of half finished because I did that, but I haven't done any of this yet. So we keep saying that we are so close to finishing. Um, but then we're not really making any progress. So I wanna give you like a 30 second speed lightning round of everything that I feel is left uh, as I pan around the van of what we have to do. Okay, let's go. Okay, fit the countertop, put the cooker in, put all the cupboard doors and handles on, fit the, ah, fit the fridge, fit the sink with the tap, 
Overhead cupboards need to go on. Overhead cupboards need to go on. Finish building the bench. Uh, paint and sand both benches. Order the cushions that are going on top of them. Finish painting uh, all of this. Organize our little side cubby bed thingies. Get the mattress in. Finish putting in the slats. Do a bunch of electronics. Resand this little section. Paint the windowsills. Put this door back on. Travel! I also realized we never showed you what we did with the chalkboard paint. So this little piece right by the door, or on the door, is chalkboard paint. So we can leave each other little messages. Not that we're ever gonna be apart when we're in the van, but that is the idea. And obviously we're gonna cut this carpet better. Oh, and we have to install the rest of the plug sockets and we have to stain and fix the rest of the cladding there. Oh, so much to do. So I don't know if any of you have noticed, but almost all of the informational details in regard to the van build pretty much always come from Sean because I don't really know what we're doing. I'm just kind of going with the flow. My main job during a vlog is to entertain and to appear comedic and charming and like all of it is like the most fun we've ever had in the whole world. So I feel like that's what I have to do this vlog is just be as entertaining as possible. So sorry. So the whole time that I've been painting these, and I'm really worried about it on the second side, but I've just finished the first side, it's all dry and it's done. And I was really, really concerned the whole time about getting white paint on the cladding, because like I've said before, the cladding is stained and it won't, we can't just like restain it to hide the white paint. So I put all this tape and now is the moment to remove it. And I'm scared. Okay, so that part is okay. There's a little bit here. Hey, that's pretty darn good, I think. I discovered that it's very difficult to tape this type of spot, so I have like 20 pieces of tape, so removing them all is gonna be a bit complicated. All right guys, I started painting this side, the left side. So, I did the first coat. Oh, I can't see anything. That's another thing, is Sean is really the cameraman in this relationship here. Hold on, let me zoom out. Okay, voila, here we go. Okay, look, so I did this whole side, first coat underneath, and then I did like a very basic coat there. I just have to do the inside and the top. The only reason I haven't done it is because I hate vacuuming. And I have to vacuum inside because there's a lot of little bits and stuff from when we've been cutting. But when that's done, Sean can put the cupboards on, which are now completed. Woo! All right, this is where we are going to leave it this week. It is now Saturday and it is beautiful out. It is finally sunny and so gorgeous. And even better news, two days ago, we finally finished our video editing project. So it was a great project, but we're glad it's over so that we can focus on the van now. Uh, so next week, don't you worry, you will get Sean back, you will get information back. Uh, I hope at the very least this week, I entertained you a little bit. Thank you for sticking with me until the end. I appreciate it. Welcome to my vlog!